Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Give you the truth. We didn't do Isaiah 401 earlier, so we're going to do it now. I was just having a conversation with somebody that wanted to bring up somebody else that, in regards to their relationship, has been pure trash. You know, this person is a close relative, but if I'm honest, like, been pure trash, done did some of everything during the marriages, you know what I mean? But another person ha tried to act as if this person has all this value. Now, Isaiah 4 and 1 says, in that day seven women will take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own food, wear our own clothes, only let us be called by your name, take away our disgrace. Now, a lot of women are gravitating towards this. And you know what's weird? Like, I don't know about where you from, but where I'm from, a lot of these women just been through the mud. Like, they drugs, cheating, just all type of stuff, right? But they think that they on the same level. And that's fine. In their own mind, it's fine. I tell y'all that all the time. It's fine in their own mind. I'm trying to put the light, position the light. I won't even be long on this one. Let me show you something, man. I'm just I'm finna show y'all something. In my own personal life, right? I don't try to get with anyone. Like, I haven't tried to get with anyone. But I'm sitting there picturing all the people in my mind that I know I could get if I even said a couple more words to them. It's at least seven. You know how Isaiah 4 and 1? It's at least seven. At least seven. All different age ranges. It's seven, at least. I would say youngest probably be in the 20s. A couple of the youngest probably being in the 20s. I don't be trying, though. Because the, my, main, uh, my main emphasis is my kids. But I'm just saying, I'm telling you guys, so, so when y'all start listening to these dudes, making you think, Ain't none of these women into you, man. You best believe. That's a lie. And these are not bad looking women per se. Like like one of them is not the best, but these ain't bad looking women. These are actually average and above average. And and we hear about the passport brothers, all of them not even black. Like one of them is Latino. And the other one is an Indian, like just straight up Indian, straight up from India. But a couple of them are divorced. And I ain't dealing with no divorced women and I wouldn't encourage none of the rest of you to do so either because she's got most of these women that get divorced. I keep telling y'all, a lot of them is because of their own self, but they can't see that. And they won't see that. So when you're dealing with them divorced women, who's to say she ain't going to flip out on you? Who's to say? Who's to say why? You know, so when they be like, well, I'm divorced. Or somebody else be like, oh, yeah, that person. Like, nah. 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 And so this is what I mean by Isaiah 4 and 1. Like, don't think you have to look a certain way. Don't think you have to have a certain level of money. I keep telling y'all the main things you need are confidence. You need to, of course, you need to, like, you know, y'all know I don't be caring sometimes, but you need to at least, like, do something in terms of your, your uh, appearance. You got that confidence, though, people going to work with your appearance. I'm telling you. And so, and, and, and you don't want to worry about or think about what a woman that has disrespected you or dissed you do. Don't get into those dialogues with these women. That's what they want. They want, because in their own mind, they've done nothing. They're innocent. They're innocent. Like, everything that went wrong is your fault. Like, remember, it's your fault.
Y'all know how I always do that, how I always say that. It's your fault. So, you got options out here. We all do. Ain't no such thing, no incels, man. Everybody has options. It's just you have to decide what approach and what you're going to do for yourself. If anything, like if you go monk mode, I understand 100%. Like I just told somebody, sell me on marriage. Been there, done that. You can't sell me on it. You can't sell me on it. If I ever got married again, it definitely ain't going to be legal. It's going to be right up here. And it's going to be earned. I'm not keeping nobody around that ain't earned to be around. Like, if you just trying to fight me, man, I'm getting older now. I don't got time for that, man. And I don't got time to be in no jail. A person like me, I can't go to jail because I might never get out. I might not ever get out, so I can't go to jail. Because I'm like, I worked in jails, and this is what I mean by this. People will start picking which, and if I go to jail, If I go to jail, I'm going I'm to be the type. Wait, hold on. If I go to jail, I'm going to be the type that I ain't going to want to talk and I ain't going to want to play with you. These dudes will do both. They'll try to get under your skin and start pushing your butt. That's what I mean by that. Like, don't let these women get you caught up in jail, man. Wait, hold on. There we go. Don't let them get you caught up like that. They don't matter. You can, sex-wise, you don't need them. You think you do, you don't. You don't. So, this person is steady trying to call. I'm going to finish this video, though. You think that you need that's what they want they want you to get in a dialogue with them about other men even though they treat you like s-h-i fill in the blank don't do it who cares let them smash you especially if she ain't been letting you who cares and don't let her be trying to hit you up for no alimony and child support and she giving it up to some other dude she giving it up to him and she wants to she wants you to sponsor their relationship. Don't go for that, man. If they if you get caught a deadbeat, who gives a flying score? Don't go for that, man. Don't go for that, man. Like I ain't gonna be one of the ones you see soften up. I don't have a problem with women now. I just know how to keep it with them from now on. And I know that when you be married, it's like you be letting your wife get away with more than you let other women get away with. And then it still don't work out for a lot of guys. It still don't work out. It's a big waste of time for most. Not all. Not all. Don't get over here to and I say all. For most. Most men. And most men ain't going to get wealthy, ain't going to get well to do with a nag on their shoulder. It's not going to happen, man. I don't care. You're going to end up, everything going to end up tumbling down. Because currency flows, uh, ships flow on currency. A ship sells by currency. So... If you don't have a relationship, if your wife is making herself a roommate, that's going to stop everything. Hold on. Um, I'm going to have to do a part two to this. I got to see. This could be an emergency, so I got to see what's going on. But this is the truth, man. Thanks for watching.